In this tutorial, we're going to add text to our writing project. Choose the writing project you wish to edit by clicking on it in the My Projects page of your author dashboard. This brings you to the project dashboard, and from here we can click on the Write Edit button and choose the writing block that we wish to edit. This brings you to the writing block editor. From here we can add text, copy and paste it, and format the text. We can add more writing blocks, rearrange the structure of our book by dragging and dropping blocks, as well as take other actions on our book, such as creating discussions, adding notes, and looking at the block history. The easiest way to add more text to your writing block is to simply start typing. Save your content after you've made a significant change. If you neglect to save your content, you may lose your content if you navigate away from this page. However, you will be prompted if you forget to save your changes. Here, I'm going to make a little change and navigate away from this block. Notice that I'm prompted to stay on this page, which allows me to save. I'm going to add text to another writing block. To navigate to other writing blocks, I can use the blue arrows at either side of the title bar, or I can use the table of contents to navigate between blocks. I'm going to click on the introduction block. In this case, I'm going to copy and paste text into the writing block from another source. Here I have a Microsoft Word file. Most of the text is styled in what's called normal styling. However, I do have a couple of paragraphs that are styled using Microsoft Word styles. While the text will come over, the styling options will not. I can, however, style this text to a degree with the formatting toolbar at the top. I can choose from a number of different formats, or I can also style text with the styling options above. I can bold, italicize, underline, strike through superscript and subscript. I can also add unordered lists or ordered lists. I can insert images, add hyperlinks, and align the text right, left, center, or justified. I can also insert a horizontal rule. In this case, I will choose bold and italic. An additional way I can bring text into my writing block is to import it from a third-party source. To import text, click on the project title in the breadcrumb trail to navigate back to the project dashboard. In the left menu is the option to import text. You can import text from a number of different sources, Microsoft Word Suite, OpenOffice Suite, or even Blogger or WordPress sources as well. When you import files from a third-party source, the text will be imported. Images and formatting will not be preserved. Browse to find the file you'd like to import, and Import File. It takes just a few minutes to import the file, and of course the larger the file, the longer it will take. Importing a file will generate a new chapter block. Notice that a new untitled chapter block has been created here. From here, you can make whatever modifications you see fit. I'm going to add the title at the top and take away the blank line. I can also format the text using the toolbar at the top. Save your changes when you are done.